Hi everyone, I'm Lynn. Welcome to Senior E-Biker. We're going to continue on our ride here in the Julington Durban Preserve. We're back here on the, the Yellow Blaze Trail. Kind of heading back. It's a beautiful day. We're looking for some animals to point out but being late in the morning I think everyone's probably back in their bed bedded down not out and about although the weather today is perfect not too hot not too cool at least for an e-bike ride and I've uh, heard a few crashes in the underbrush something for running off but I haven't been able to see what it is. Seen a few songbirds that we've flushed out. And going down to the end of the yellow blaze uh, it does continue back a little bit further but it's Really in swampy area. And the, uh, I don't relish going back into the wet area today. So we'll just keep on the main dry trails here. The only animals we've seen today are the, the dogs that are people are out walking, their pets. Preserve is very, very nice. It's, uh, as I mentioned, has bicycle trails, which we're on here, horse trails, which we're on too. So you can do horseback riding here. In the back, there's no, although there's a picnic table there, as you can see, and a hitch and post for horses. You can come back here and hang out, but uh, there is no, no overnight camping. No day camping, it's just visitors. I haven't really got into too much loose, loose sand, which is nice. It's always a little bit more difficult to, to pedal through. Can get a little squirrely riding around on loose loose sand. But for the most part these trails are all packed nice. It'd be a nice leisurely ride through the pines and through the oaks.
one of the things that you want to be aware of after you've gone on a on a ride like this with a little bit of jarring vibrations is to make sure everything is tight and we're leaving the yellow blaze and going back to the white blaze trail here heading back to the parking lot well when you're done with a ride like this you want to take to make sure that everything is secure so I'll make sure that the fenders are all secure the rear mirror here over secure make sure that the headlight is nice and tight make sure all of the Shifters haven't loosened up. That'll just ensure that next time you go out, you'll be nice and safe, you won't have any failures. Hopefully. Most of this ride we've been on pedal assist two. This is right around 11, 12 miles an hour max. Riding around. I think we'll uh, grab the throttle and let it do some work here. Go a little bit faster along the trail.
How you doing? Yeah. On your left. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. And uh, we haven't really run into that too much before because we've been on the road a lot, but the bell is used to help others know that you're there, that you're coming up on them. You don't surprise them. There's no surprise coming up to scare anybody or make anybody unaware. So that was our ride into the preserve today. It looks like we got a nice little panel van coming in. We'll move over and give them the road. Well, if you liked our video today, give me a thumbs up. Gently press the subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. It helps me uh, with the channel and press the notification bell you'll hear when our next video drops i'm lynn this is a senior e-biker have a great day